When did it start, your affair with Lego? I was three years old and my grandmother, God bless her, Hazel Smith, bought me a Lego set, which was 29 cents from Coles. On you, Hazel. Hmm. Three years of age. When did you know you were really captiv captivated by it? When it didn't go away by the tw by your 21st? Uh, no, no. I was about 12 or 13 and put it away, went to the cupboard. Good old mum hangs on to these things, as uh, mums tend to do. And it wasn't until my wife and I had children that we got back into it. So, You're a certified Lego professional. How many in Australia? I'm the only one in Australia. There's 12 of us around the world, so I'm quite lucky. How do you, did you go off to Lego Versity to get this? What happens? <laughs> yeah, there's pretty much. Uh, so I was very lucky a few years ago, back in 2008, I uh, was working in IT and I bumped into some guys from Lego and I wrote a piece of software uh, which allowed the iPad to talk to Lego's robotics. So kids could do some Lego robotics using their iPad. Anyway, some guys from Lego loved it and said, come in for a chat. That would do it. That's a very good app. Well, uh, it was pretty cool. Uh, I put it down as the third best day of my life. The first being my, my wedding. The second is when the children were born. And the third was when I went and told my boss that I'm quitting to play with Lego for a living. Have you got a challenge for me? I have got a challenge for you, actually. Um, and if you want to talk about your, your moaning Monday, I'm sure your listeners will agree if you've ever stepped on a Lego brick. <laughs> it's not. That's a very uh, unfortunate thing. In the middle of the night, mm -hmm, and to get a glass of water. Yeah, best burglar alarm in the world. Just put Lego bricks down on the floor. See, so you've got all the answers. We try. Nine six nine hundred six nine three. Is there someone in your family who perhaps is really, really uh, excited? It may, it, for want of a better word, committed. I won't say addicted. Committed to Lego. Nine six nine hundred six nine three. Have you got a secret room somewhere? Our workshop, or uh, we call it the uh, Garage Mahal, for lack of a better term, used to be an old car garage that we've converted into uh, Legos, and we've got about six and a half million Lego bricks in it. What's the biggest thing you've done? Last year in Sydney, we built uh, a 10 metre high Christmas tree out of Lego bricks, three and a half tonnes of Lego bricks. If the mayor of Geelong's listening, he might say to you, come on down, let's have the Lego Christmas <laughs> love to, tree. Love to. I, don't know, I don't know if I could uh, blow it up in the harbour though. Well, I've built, I haven't built a Ford Mustang before, but I have built a Lego Ferrari before, quarter scale, um, a 1963 Ferrari California. I can't afford the real McCoy, so I decided to build one out of Lego. There has been a couple of real life cars built around the world. A Ford Explorer was built out of Lego uh, and a Volvo was built out of Lego as well. Uh, I don't think any of them have got working drivetrains. I think when you start rolling down the hill, I think bricks might start flying off left, right and centre, but we'll give it a go. I'll take it on board. When I'm doing things like a car, for example, so like I put the slightest little brick out of place and yeah, there's a fair bit of trouble. So natural shapes are pretty awesome. We just did the world's largest Lego flower last weekend, actually, for Ballarat Begonia Festival. And uh, yeah, it looked, it looked amazing.